Wakurugenzi tulisema for the next couple of weeks kama kuna wimbo tutakuwa tunaimba ni wimbo ya sinema. Lakini sitakuwa naimba tu peke yake ndakuwa nawapatia relevant examples ndio muone umuhimu wa kuimarisha sekta ya sinema. A couple of uh, years ago actually eh, it's a couple it's more than a decade. Hollywood waliamua kupiga sinema inaitwa Pirates of the Caribbean. Na wakati wali announce wanataka kufanya sinema ya Pirates of the Caribbean kuna country ndogo mahali na hii story nishaipiga before lakini for the sake of the people ambao hawajawahi sikia wacha tu nirudie leo. In a small island I think inaitwa Barbados. Eh ofisi yao ya film commission ambayo ilikuwa na watu wawili peke yake mdosi na assistant wake wakapata hiyo ripoti ya kwamba Hollywood wanataka kufanya sinema inaitwa nini Pirates of the Caribbean wakalipa tikiti wakapanda ndege moja kwa moja mpaka Los Angeles California Hollywood wakaenda wakafika pale studio wakakaa chini na executives wakawaambia wadau najua mnataka kufanya sinema ya Pirates na kama mnafanya sinema ya Pirates kitu mnahitaji ni biche safi na bahari safi country yetu Barbados is an island meaning the entire country is a beach. <laughs> Wapi better kushuti mradi yenu? Kujeni, ingieni Barbados, tembeeni, angalieni muone. Ikiwa bamba, kujeni tufanye kazi. Wale jamaa wa studio wakaona wacha twende tucheki. Na wakapanda ndege wakaingia Barbados na wakaenda wakapiga reki yao. Reconnaissance safi. Waka discover their right. Hapa inaweza kuwa place ideal sana ya kushuti sinema. Long story short wadao Pirates of the Caribbean iliingia huko kufanya production economy ya Barbados as a result of that one movie iliimarika maradufu like watu walikuwa kazi huko deadly regardless ni kazi gani unafanya wewe ni seremala unatengenezaga vitu za mbao hawapatikani ah, wako wapi wanatengeneza meli za Pirates of the Caribbean that goes to show how important one film can be for an economy sasa hebu imagine mkiwa na sinema kama hizo 200 unafikiria economy inaenda wapi where am i going with this wakurugenzi nataka tu niwakumbushe tuko na sinema moto sana inaitwa click click bang nikiwaambia leo hii ya kwamba wale watu wametizama hiyo sinema hawajafika elfu tano. Kwendo huko. Mnaweza shaka sana. Na hiyo kelele yote tumepiga. Lakini tumediscover hii kelele yetu tunaipiga from one channel. Hatuwezi. Lazima nyinyi mtusaidie kufikisha hii ripoti kwa watu wengine wote. Target ya hii sinema ni 100,000 people lazima wakae chini waone masterpiece sababu ni kazi safi. Na nyinyi mlikubali mkasema nyinyi ndio ambassadors wetu. Tafadhali vile tuliagree mshike watu mkono muambie wengine hata wahitaji kushikwa mkono wanahitaji tu kuelezewa eh hey, kuna sinema moto iko hapa this is how you get it tafadhalini tusaidieni kusukuma sababu sinema ikiimarika kwenye country hii hata kama sio sisi ita affect directly watoto wetu lazima watarip benefits so it's important tafadhalini tusukumeni kazi sasa Kurugenzi <laughs> Mame Young and Stupid season ngapi ni 6 episode 4 Hey fresh out the kitchen man na kama kawa kama dao ukiona mkurugenzi amepiga nyeupe kama pamba mjue kume pamba uka Fai kucheka no guys let's 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 be serious guys <laughs> No, saa ingine tukubalia neni wa kurugenzi. Hii kitu hiki kataa unachukua na nguvu. Aki, ukingoja upewe haki haikuji. Eh, five, five times. Zote tu ni tunakataa. Hapana. 
we bana hiki tu tunaingia tunachukua <laughs> we haidhuru haidhuru inakuwa gaibo mambo ya siasa ni ngumu siasa ah siasa ni kama wewe ni professor mnafanya hivyo hey guys very nice that said i think tunaweza ingia katika story ya leo which by the way wadau is one of the most amazing coincidences ever now this is the thing haija happen once ama twice so far kumekuwa na almost three stories zinaenda the same mpaka anajiuliza hii ni yenyewe Mungu akiamua wewe ni mtu wake wewe ni mtu wake hakuna mahali unaenda wakurugenzi mwaka ni mnamo 2013 2013 kuna jamaa ameketi kwa meza. Huyu jamaa ako hapa kwa capacity ya hitman. Hiyo ndio reason ameketi hapa kwa hii meza as we speak. Across the table kuna jamaa ambaye anataka kumpatia hiyo kazi ya hitman. Kazi ya hitman mnaijua vizuri sana. Ye yeah, yeah, yuko pale kwa sherehe ku serve mchele. No. Hitman kazi yake ni kuhakikisha wewe kesho anakukutanisha na baba. So ameketi pale kwa meza, huyu jamaa anampatia kazi yako hapa right across the table. Akamsukumia pesa, eh, si pesa, picha kwa meza, akamwambia niko na pesa yako shilingi 1700 pesa taslim. Nataka huu mtu kesho asilale kwa kitanda. Kesho alale kwa fridge. Jamaa akavuta picha, akaigeuza, akaiangalia vizuri. Na all of a sudden kukakuwa tu na this facial expression ya shock on what he was looking at wadau kule ni pause toka hapo toka 2013 wewe piga riwa in selector kuja hapa mnamo around 2011 ikiisha 2012 ikienda kuanza Jamaa ako pale ako in a relationship lakini mambo ni tricky. Awasikizani yeye na bibi wana corruptiona left right and center. Okay, hapo nimempandisha cheo sana si bibi, ni msichana tu wanakaanishaga pamoja. Eh, so unajua hii mambo. Watu Nairobi mnafanya hivyo sana. You know yourselves. But jamaa amefika point ameanza kuona no 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 no. no. Um, msichana she's impossible. Huyu siwezi, siwezani na yeye kabisa. So akajiita meeting na akajiconvince akajiambia kama maisha yangu inafai ielekee mahali. Huyu afai kukua kwa picture. So akaenda akakompose barua yake safi, akaenda akapiga speech, akaambia msichana reasons why they can never be together. Of course msichana akuichukulia vizuri, akamwambia zile you know the usual so oh, that regret oh nini kuna pointers wasichana wanakuaga nazo ukiwa acha na inakuwaga universal ni kama zile factors za <laughs> migration zinakuwaga the same <laughs> poor climate <laughs> attack from external communities hata waza wasichana ukiwaacha anakuona kujaga na the same so akapigwa pia yes pitch yake na msichana msichana kamlaani akamwambia oh lambwa uso na shetani kila asubuhi ukiamka nini you know uh, all those shenanigans na wakaachana Jamaa kaendelea kupiga kazi, Mungu akamuonekania vizuri sana. Akakuja akapata kazi kwa organization ambayo ni non-governmental NGO. Hapa nje kama kuna kitu mnakuaga sifa mumekuwa mkisikia ya NGO ni moja. Hao watu wanalipa sawa sawa. So jamaa NGO yake mazeme kubali, anapigwa trips zingine za hardship areas deadly anakimbia kwa camp uh, za refugees huko pande za Kakuma nini wanapiga piga mashughuli shughuli hapo kidogo wanarudi mwisho wa mwezi fat check like mambo iko tu sawa the guy is living the life alafu sasa hii ni single boy mazee yani hakuna ma expenses kibao ni yeye peke yake na tumbo yake bas that's it one of these days mazee those fine days akiwa shughuli zake ametoka safari anaelekea kakuma akakutana na jamaa random person kwa stopover I think waga wanasimama mahali huko kapenguri ya kukula tu vitu hapa na pale nini nini. So wakiwa kwa hiyo pilka pilka wakaanza tu kuongea na mjamaa hapa akapata ni jamaa ko very depressed. So aka ile tu kumu interest tu ni aje mtu wangu eh hey, mbona unakaa umebonda sana bana mambo iko sawa. Jamaa akamfungukia akamwambia mazee mimi vile unaniona hapa bana nimetumwa <laughs> kazi huko mwisho wa Kenya mazee. Na niju 
kuna mdosi tuliko sana kosana nini ikabidi wanipige transfer wanipeleke hardship eh kwani unapiga kazi gani akamwambia mazee mimi ni officer polisi eh mazee na mi mahali nimefika sasa hii kusema tu kweli misioni kama hii kazi nitaendelea nayo sababu unajaribu ku air mazee grievances unajaribu kusema opinion zako mtu bana anakupiga transfer na kupeleka hardship area nimeacha watoto bana Kiambu sasa na nakimbia bana kaku makupiga kambi huko bana unaona huni mtu anataka kunimaliza tu kikazi so jamaa akamwambia ina mambo na kuelewa hizi vitu siasa za ofisi zinakuaga kila mahali whether ni kwa polisi whether ni corporate sector ziko wewe usijalifanya hivi wengia pale mimi niko job in eh, place fulani ngo nikipata namna na kuchanua haina mambo in fact after jamaa amemaliza kukula eh, waka piga shika safari pamoja alikuwa na transport ya kufika huko lakini akaambia kama najua umelipa basi lakini si lazima niko peke yangu hapa na niko na four wheel drive ya kampuni unaweza kuja tuendelee tupige story tu hiyo feo umepoteza huko haina mambo kuja ukae hapa starehe eh hey, jamaa kaona ya why not so akakuja akaketi pale kwa 4x4 ya u jamaa na wakapiga safari kutoka huko pas kapenguria teke teke mpaka kakuma kwa boda na no, kafika huko of course waka exchange contacts vizuri na wakaachana so after a couple of weeks jamaa kakama kasikia kuna opening maze e, mdosi one of his uh, seniors anatafuta security ah akavuta waya akaambia jamaa ni aje eh hey, kuna mdosi wa mine hapa tunafanya job na yeye ana transfer mazeme amepata job kwa NGO nyingine mazina huko ameenda ka senior mbaya wamemwambia kama ako na msee anataka wa security ni nini nini akuje naye so akaniuliza ni aje unajua msee anaweza nipiga anaweza piga job ya security nikamwambia ya niko na jamaa fulani tulikutana na yeye e, na najua ni polisi hizi area za Kakuma e, wacha nimuulize kana anajisikia so jamaa akapiga connection of course jamaa akasikia haya ni works ya hey, ya iwe, iweze sana kwani iko nini resignation very fast na akakuja akaanza kupiga kazi ya security na huyu jamaa mwingine. So kumbukeni huyu alikuwa ni boss wa our main character. Lakini sasa ametoka, amepata job kwa NGO ingine na huko ameenda kama bigi. Sasa huyu main character wetu amemconnect na ule askari walikutana kibahati wakikula lunch mahali fulani. Na akawashikanisha na jamaa wakaanza kazi na mambo ikakuwa sawa sawa. Believe it or not after kushikanisha watu wawili these people never spoke again nile tu maisha inachukua trajectories tofauti kila mtu anaenda njia zake na maisha ikaendelea kuja rudi hapa nyumbani fast forward mpaka karibu mwisho wa 2012 jamaa ako sawa salary imekubali like hata ukimwangalia na uangalie vile anacheza hapo kwa mtandao he's moving a bit different man oh jamaa mambo yake imetii ako tu saa unaweza tell eh hey, pesa hapa imekubali huu mtu nani ana notice pesa imekubali huu mtu yes you guessed right x akajiita meeting hata akajiuliza huu mtu mimi tunaachana huu mtu anaendelea kuna wiri in whose world tukiachana unafaa ukule ngori ndio ujue mimi nilikuwa mtu important kwa maisha yako So msichana akajiita meeting akasema hapana hapa lazima ni rudi kama kuna benefits ziko hapa tunazikula pamoja So msichana akaingia acting classes akatoka akiwa <laughs> Sandra Bullock mwenyewe eh Eva Mendes mwenyewe ameiva kulia deadly yeye na president wetu akarudi akapiga magoti kabisa akaambia akia Mungu nilikwambia hauta amount to anything wewe makosa ni yangu mimi ndio sikuwa ni amount to anything nimekaa nimejiita mkutano na nikadiscover hakuna mahali naenda kwa maisha bila wewe nimekubali makosa zangu zote mimi ni mtu nimeamua nibadilike na kuambia mtu yangu ama changed person nipatie tu chance nyingine wewe utaona utafry i promise akalia akalia for a couple of weeks jamaa akajiita meeting akajiambia nyie ukiona msichana amerudi amenyenyekea ah huyu amechange huyo huyo mambo yake iko sawa wacha tu nimpatie tu chance lakini aki, kitu imudanganye ajaribu tu anikosee tena he he nitamtoka mbio ata spin sababu ya ile speed ndakuwa nimemwacha 
eh hana bahati so akarudi akamwambia mazee ulinifanya mbaya lakini haina mambo ni sawa acha tu wipe slate clean eh acha tuanze tena mazee let's start on a clean sheet eh bana na ujue sikupendelea si sasa tu behave please mr nakambia clean sheet come back i am the best human being you will ever meet na wakaanza kuishi <laughs> wakurugenzi watu ni hatari hapa nje kumbe msichana alikuwa ashapiga background check akapata huu mtu ile pesa ana an anajua iko wapi anajua huu mtu ashaanza kushika tu property hapa na pale ni nini, nini but most importantly ashagundua sababu kazi yake inamtuma places ambazo ni hardship hardship kidogo na kuneza zuka once in a, you know once in a while kampuni imemshikia insurance life insurance ya karibu milioni 25 wanamlipiaga kila mwezi 25 million life insurance hapo ndio msichana alikuwa amejua nitaomkea kwa hiki kitu so as amerudi kwa maisha ya huyu jamaa as anajifanya the best person on earth at the back of her mind anajua ni script ni kipindi anapiga hii life insurance ndio ana target ashapanga mikakati proper ya vile huyu jamaa eventually atatakiwa tu na bandits mahali amalizwe life insurance ya milioni 25 mfuko properties zake na maisha iendelee so wakaendelea vizuri msichana anaenda akipanga mikakati mikakati anapiga research kujua ni nani anaweza tumia kuangusha huyu jamaa akakuja akaangukia jamaa fulani akamwambia ni aje nimepata contact yako nimeambiwa jo wewe ukitaka ya like mtu akitaka mtu wa wendio the go to guy kambi ya endo hasoli yangu mti yangu shafika unatakaje akamwambia sasa jo mti yangu jo mr kudanganya mzee husband wangu ananipiga daily mimi hata sijui niko alive aje ni mtu violent mbaya ni mtu karibu hata apige mama yangu vile unamuona ni hatari in fact kila time akiingia kwa nyumba tunatetemekanga tu mpaka asubuhi sababu any time is go time anaweza nifanya mbaya na mimi nimechoka kuishi hivyo nataka huyu mtu apumzike sababu i think he's too angry with the world ndio kwa maana anakujaga kunitolea hizo asira every night nimepigwa nimechoka eh hey, mm, ukweli kabisa so unataka aende ah aende wacha aende i have suffered enough kaambia sawa haina mambo lakini ujue bwana mimi nakuaga very expensive that's the reason why i'm still in business sababu i am very thorough uko na milioni mbili na nusu hapo tumalize hii kazi. Ah, madam akwambia ina mambo. Milioni mbili na nusu wacha nitafute. Afadhali nifulie watu nguo nikutafutie milioni mbili na nusu kuliko ile kichapo napigwa kwa hiyo nyumba my friend. Wacha nikutafutie. Akamwambia aina mambo. Ukipata hiyo nini? Weniambie tukuje tuanze kazi. Before long msichana anapiga simu kwa Hitman anamwambia mtu wangu nimepata ile pesa lakini pia ini Nairobi. Siwezi taka kuweka all my eggs in one basket. Hivi ndio tutakacheza. Nataka nikupige nusu ya hiyo pesa. Shika 1.5 yako pesa taslim baridi. Enda kamilisha. Ukisha kamilisha ni ascertain mtu yangu anaingia kwa fridge in the next couple of minutes na kumalizia milioni yako. Hapo tuko sawa? Ah, hitman akapiga hesabu ya haraka haraka akaona haya ya why not? Sawa. Iko sawa. So wetu kutane, nipige mambo yangu, mimi niende nitekeleze. Very nice. Siku ya meeting ikafika. Hitman amefika mrembo wako pale akampatia nini kitita bunda iko sasa 1.5 ready akampatia picha akamwambia huyu jamaa ndio mtu nataka uende ufanye nini uniangushie Hitman akachukua picha akaiangalia akamwambia okay iko sawa wewe nipatie tu ratiba ya huyu mtu anaendaga wapi anapenda kufanya nini raundi zake zinakaa namna gani mimi nifanikishe very nice haya Jamaa akachukua picha na akachukua kitita na akatoka akaenda. Any information pertaining this guy ambaye tunataka tuangushe inatumwa kwa simu. E, kitu yote na una feel nahitaji kujua just send it to me. Na msichana akaenda zake, Hitman na picha na pesa akaenda zake. Haya. Hitman akafika kwa nyumba akapiga hesabu. Kumbe huyu jamaa ni Hitman msanii. 
huaga tayari ameunda hiyo face nini is very approachable lakini ikifika ni ku pull the trigger hiyo si yeye so what happens ni akisha patiwa target anaenda anaongelesha wale watu ambao anajua wanaweza timiza so akaenda akafika nyumbani akatulia kapiga hesabu akaangalia ni nani ni nani ni nani ni nani kapiga simu mbili tatu zikakataa ikakuwa oh oh huyu ayuko huyu ako jela huyu sijua kwa wapi akajiuliza ni nani naweza pigia akakumbuka wait a minute niko na rafiki yangu by the way ah anaweza piga hii kitu na mali najua huu jamaa yuko ni mtu sahihi anaweza piga wera yote he needs it wacha nimvutie nione kama anaweza anaweza sukuma so jamaa ana call anapiga simu kule jamaa akamwambia ni aje buda na uko pande gani akamwambia hata niko Nairobi kiasi e, tuko ka, ka, ka live live kidogo nini ndio nirudi mawera baadaye e, wera uko wapi ah niko ma, ma place farova farova nini nini but sahi niko ere unatakaje akam ah, kam tuchapiane dakika mbili haina mambo so jamaa akatokea wakakutana watu wawili sasa ule hitman anataka ku subcontract jamaa hapa wameka chini kwa meza vizuri akamwambia sasa buda jo najua mambo vile ilikufanyikia nini nini mimi nataka nikupige wera na hii wera ni wera safi sana na ni wera inaisha na ni wera chap chap nikikwambia kuna mtu hapa mazee na fanyia wife wake mbaya na amefika mwisho na ako na kiburi deadly design hata anajua kipele kwa kotiko atatoka tu sababu ana pesa na kiburi mtu kama huyo unaweza jaribu tumuondoe tu kwa hii dunia sababu ni mtu asaidi mtu is just a waste of space si tunaweza sukuma mtu kama huyo akamwambia he kusukuma 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 he aende he okay ni na, ni nani huyo mtu akamwambia kwanza kabla hata nikufanyishe nini nini nataka tu nikwambie hii kazi yote si free huyo mtu asipokuwa anapumua by kesho jioni na kwambia buda utaingia nyumbani na elfu zako mia saba pesa taslim 700000 cash like buda as we speak niko na hiyo pesa as we speak we chukua tu elfu mia saba umse kesho alale kwa fridge ndio huyo jamaa so jamaa akachukua nini akavuta picha akaangalia picha my friend shock on him believe it or not yule jamaa amekuwa subcontracted kukuwa hitman is none other than the guy pale uh, kapenguria wakikula nikitale ama nikapenguria wakikula lunch alikutana na mjama fulani wakaenda pamoja mpaka wapi mpaka kakuma now ile picha anaangalia ni picha ya ule mjamaa walikutana akampatia kazi ambayo ndio anakulia as we speak niambie kama kuna coincidence bigi kuliko hiyo kwa hii life i will wait i will wait again here is a shocker he kitu it happen once there's like three instances zenye hitmen wamekuwa contracted kumaliza mtu then wana discover wanajua huyo mtu three cases so this is just one of them haya so now jamaa ameangalia picha ameona oh oh oh, oh najua huyo lakini siezi meze share sababu nikianza ku behave funny huyu ata discover ni kama kuna kitu na itachoma na ikichoma inamaanisha atanitoka aende atafute mtu mwingine na huu mtu mwingine atafanikisha ataangusha beshte yangu. Huu jamaa alinipatia new lease of life. Siwezi kubali aangushwe. So jamaa akaangalia picha akamwangalia kwa macho akamwambia umesema uko na 700. Nipatie hiyo 700. Kesho jamaa analala kwa fridge. Done deal. Pesa ika exchange mkono hapo haraka haraka 700,000 information bibi anatumaga tu kwa huyu hitman number one. Huu jamaa ameanza kusukuma sasa kwa nani? Mwanzake hapa. Take 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 information inakuja sasa sawa kesho atakuwa mta fulani saa fulani nini 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 akamwambia ina mambo niwachie. Na wakawachana. The following day simu asubuhi ni aje buda leo ndio ile siku uko chonjo. Hitman namba 2 anawaambia niko chonjo nimeshajipanga niko sawa. Usitie shaka. E, leo tunafanikisha sasa uko wapi ah niko tu place fulani na kula breakfast yangu pole pole nikijiprepare uh, psychologically leo siku katambe hapo sawa tuongee baadaye anakata tu simu hivi pap akisalimia huyu jamaa anafaa angushe ni aje buda e, nimekuwa nikikumbuja sana vuta kiti kaa chini nikuchapie 
So jamaa mazee ameket chini aambia mazee first of all long time kazi na ule jamaa nilikushikanisha iko aje kazi iko fit lakini wewe pande yako mambo iko sawa. Hata sitakuuliza kwako kuko aje juu. I know kwako mambo iko sawa. Jamaa anashindwa kwangu mambo iko sawa aje. Wewe unajua vile bibi yangu anamka saa tisa kunipikia sausages wewe. Hapa tunaishi kama kings. Akaambia mtu yangu. Mimi sijui ni nani huyo unaishi naye kwa nyumba lakini hakutaki as we speak mimi ndio mse nafani kuangushe ah alishindwa rada yep wife wako alienda aka contact hitman akama kulalishe huyo hitman by the grace of god hakuweza ku execute ikabidi a subcontract mtu akama fanya hiyo kazi what are the odds that out of the very many people amekuwa akifanya kazi nao alinipigia mimi mimi nikuje niangushe bibi yako and the reason why alini call ni sababu alikuwa anajua vile mambo yangu iko <coughs> anajua vile tuliko sana pale na dosi nikatolewa Nairobi nikasukumu mpaka Kakuma alikuwa anajua hizo shida zote alikuwa anajua vile niko bita maze na job yangu so alikuwa anajua kaku na mtu raisi maze ku convince ni mimi bra wife wako anataka uende shock on him like jamaa alikuwa hapo anamwangalia anaona ni kani movie Buda unaniambia wifu anataka kunimaliza haya haya akamtolea mpaka simu akamwambia niaje hii ni information natumiwa na huyo hitman wa kwanza so huyu hitman wa kwanza anatoa wapi information kama hii by then na jamaa akachukua simu akaona haya leo ametoka akiwa na shati checked nini nini oh my god kila kitu akamza guys sasa tufanye nini twende karao akamwambia ah we tulia i got you hii kitu tutaipanga kabisa ikae kabisa legit kabisa ndio tuwashike in the act <coughs> otherwise tukianza kuingia kotini kotini hapa ujui huko uwezi jua vitu zinaweza enda zibadilishwe badilishwe huko mchezo mchezo tupoteze so wacha tuwakute bila nafaa so leo usiku saa mbili tunakutana kona fulani nitaenda ni organize nipate kama hata ni damu damu ni nini ni, ni kuweke vizuri kwa shati ni kutengeneze sawa sawa kisinema re na nikuweke kwa kwa gari bas tuwaite wakamwa washuhudie mtu wao ameanguka saa mbili usiku ikafika jamaa akaenda waka set up vizuri place kwa kachuo makana watu waka jamaa kaketi kwa kiti ya dereva vizuri akapakwa pakwa madamu damu nini nini akawekelea kichwa kidesign kama mtu ameenda mambo iko shwari simu ikapigwa ika hitman akaambiwa ni aje mtu yangu toka enda uchukue waifu jamaa mkuje nae immediately tunataka mfanye nini mu identify hii body iko hapa akamuza uko unajishuku ama hapana nimewahi ni ule ule lakini nataka tu kama na wife akama confirm ni yeye kabisa but mimi niko sure 100% hata vile alikuwa amevaa nini ako hivyo hivyo gari yake ni hii na hii na hii okay sasa sawa <coughs> so hitman anatoka anavutia wife pale wife anakuja teke teke wanakutana na hitman wanakuja paka wapi kwa scene of crime wanafika kwa scene of crime maze jamaa mes, kwa, kwa kiti amelala ki designer kona damu kila mahali e, wamejaribu kusijua ameweka weka nini hapa ndio asionekane akipumua pole pole wamekacheza vizuri kisinema kabisa na mdema kakama kachungulia ndani akaona ni yeye akaangalia hitman akasema oh my god you guys i'm so proud of you akampiga mpaka hag shab mara hiyo hiyo afisa wa polisi kama nane kwa wakatokea kwa mabushes kwa tokelezea kuja hapa aha kumbe hivyo ndio ulikuwa umepanga wewe ulikuwa unataka jamaa tu muende ubaki ukifanya nini ni pesa yake ya insurance ya very sharp ah wote eh, pingo haraka faster huyu mwingine pia wewe ingia ndani wakasindikizwa hapo jamaa akaamka kwa kiti pale ame jam dead anamuuliza babe yani we ulikuwa unitume fo yani uko sh- babe ulikuwa unitume Jesus Christ ingia tu kwa hiyo maria mumti yangu wakawekwa ndani very fast straight mpaka police station hapa wameshikwa live in the act no amount of lawyers haijalishi unajuana na orengo wangapi oh sijui ombeta wangapi hii yani mumepatikana kabisa so of course ikaingia kotiko mdema kapatikana guilty huyu mwingine akawaiwa pia hapo kama accomplice wako ndani siko sure wana serve miaka ngapi lakini for attempted murder utaenda enda for some time 
So bado wako huko eh, to date in story iko kwa one of hizo cases za judiciary wa gana post ma case by the end kwa anapigia pigia hizo mavitu once in a while juko na vitu ziko hapo eh yeah. eh yeah. we is fine is ngori yeah yeah na hivyo ndio mambo yao iliisha mtu wangu hapo ndio tuligundua yenyewe wahenga wako tuchana kwa mfupa wa samaki na wako tupaka mafuta kwa mgongo wa chupa walipobuata maneno haya ya kwamba kikulacho kikuoni mwako na hapo ndio tunafunga hekaya za leo wadau imekuwa true sana e, kama kawa kama dawa ikikubamba kuja na mbogi wa kuja washuhudie na hata hao waende waite watu wengine na ikikubamba zaidi unajua vile kukacheza wadau au sio na watambua sana nyinyi ni wa true sana god uh, bless na mkumbuke ile mambo tumeongea nikianza story sinema lazima watu waone sawa sawa wadau adios muchachos peace Yo!